Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. I'm joined by Daniel Albert. How's it going, mate? It's going well. How are you? I'm doing very well. We are back doing another video together. We are. You excited? Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't have it any other way. Exactly. Very excited. <laughs> um, now, we've got some very cool guitars and you're going to tell me all about them. I am. So these are our Chicago Special 62 Jazz Masters, and we actually make these in a handful of different years, but um, the 62 is kind of where it all started for us. So when we're thinking about Chicago Special, whether it's a Jazz Master or a Strat or a Tele, yeah. really the words Chicago Special are referring to the pickups. So basically what we have here are uh, a set of pickups that we designed with uh, George Blanda, uh, one of the Jazz Master authorities at Fender, as well as Mike Lewis, uh, the late great Mike Lewis. Um, and working with those guys, we wanted to develop something based on one of our favorite 61 Jazz Masters, which um, has, is just a magic guitar. So many people using Jazz Masters now, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we thought it was important to kind of develop the end all be all of a Jazz Master pickup. These are actually going to be uh, Almaco 5 magnets, so great high end, great warmth to them. And then the wire that we use for these, um, for the pickup leads, is going to be a 42 gauge enamel wire. So the bridge pickup on here uh, definitely has a vintage voice. However, we did make them slightly overwound. So you are going to get some more output, some more punch out of them. And then for the neck pickup, these are just moderately overwound. Um, you usually want your, your neck pickup on most guitars to be slightly more powerful than the bridge pickup okay. and you can do that either by adjusting height or uh, yeah. just actually winding the pickup hotter so it's gonna have all of the uh, kind of low end that you would expect from a Jazzmaster neck pickup mm -hmm. but it's also gonna really retain that kind of bell like chime that yeah. they have That's so important. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. great sound pickups as always middle position just that's phenomenal. the fave yeah, yeah phenomenal and they sound particularly great on these so i mean yeah yeah uh, that credit. balance is yeah. really what we were looking for i mean credit to all the hard work that went into making them sound as good as they do very important and worth noting these pickups uh the chicago special pickups are only available in these guitars um you can't buy them from other retailers um can't buy the guitars themselves from other retailers uh, Fender doesn't sell the pickups direct or standalone or anything like okay. that. So um, getting Chicago Special pickups is just in the in the guitars themselves yes, and cool. only here. Yeah. So I like that.
So one of the other things that we did to really highlight the pickups is we actually used a 250K volume pot instead of the normal one meg volume pot. Right. The one megs uh, can tend to be a bit uh, too much in terms of the high end. Right. Um, so that's something that we wanted to tame and this really, really does a good job of that. For the finishing touch on the pickups, Mike Lewis was recommending that we actually pot them in shellac rather than wax or lacquer. Um, shellac is actually something that was historically used around 1963, most notably on the P-Base. Okay. Um, and what shellac does for your sound is it, it usually is a bit more of an open and airy kind of woody sound than you would typically hear with a wax. It, it, it's one of those small things that, yeah. that really kind of puts these over the top. We did leave the rhythm circuit intact. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people say, oh, it's useless. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. D respectfully disagree. Uh, yeah, yeah. Makes a great kill switch, um, yeah. makes a great setting for a lead tone or something a little less bright. Um, so basically flipping up into the rhythm circuit is going to be just your neck pickup. It's got a little bit of a high cut uh, a capacitor built into that so it's going to be a little less bright okay. and then these rollers actually control the volume and the tone just for this circuit right so what we did on the necks for these we normally use riffs on maple which just refers to how it's cut we don't exclusively use that though we've used just straight up plain maple quarter sawn maple roasted maple um, we've done some flame, some bird's eye, and we've even done like 100% rosewood necks. You'll note that on the 62 models, these do have the rosewood fingerboard, and yeah. um, this is a slab uh, rosewood, which is the same as a flat laminate. Um, so basically, and we'll get some B-roll of this, the rosewood joins the neck at a perfect flat yeah. surface. Whereas when you hear somebody refer to a veneer board or a round laminate board, yeah. um, they're actually both curved oh. to fit one another. Okay. Um, and generally there are advocates for both, but people generally say that the, the flat laminate is the, yeah. is the winner. And they mostly say that because that's how Fender originally did it. And we, yeah. we tend to think that those are the best ways. Yeah. <laughs> As cool. guitarists, I'm not yeah. saying this in particular, but yeah. uh, one other thing I wanted to note on the rosewood fingerboards, we always, always, always have the custom shop sort for the darkest rosewood that they have at the time. Mm -hmm. And again, just to kind of honor the history of how insanely dark some of those old uh, Fender rosewood boards are. Yeah. And similar to that, if we move in onto the body here, uh, the bodies on the 62 model are typically going to be alder. Uh, we will use ash for uh, transparent finishes generally, um, but whatever wood we use, we do always sort that for lightweight. So you've got right. your, your dark boards and your light bodies. Yes. So just kind of makes sense. Good and combo. It's best for the, best for the player. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the really cool thing about Chicago Special, at least how we view it, is it's kind of a template that you can do what you want to it. You could order the guitars exactly the way we would or buy one of the ones we have in stock. Mm -hmm. But basically we tried to make as many choices as possible to take some of the guesswork out of making a custom shop instrument. So if you're buying a Chicago Special, you know you're getting the excellent pickups. 
Um, you know, you're getting the electronic layout the way that we would recommend for this particular model. But we want to leave the the extra fun stuff up to the to the customer. Yeah. So if you want to pick your pick your plastic, pick your finish, uh, pick your hardware color. That's all stuff that people can give us a call, shoot us an email, send us a chat or whatnot, yeah. and we'll get it going. That's cool. There is also the option for aging as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And Fender has a bunch of different relic levels. Really, I haven't found one that I don't like yeah. yet. Um, we do most of our ordering in NOS, which is nitro finish with zero aging. Yeah. We do a lot of uh, Deluxe Closet Classic as well, which is two steps above NOS. So yeah. that's going to have very slightly tarnished hardware uh, checking in the finish. Um, very few, if any, dings on it. Uh, listen, I, I like a little bit of wear and tear. Yeah, yeah. You know? It makes the first ding that you put in it yeah. way less hurtful. Did I put a ding in it? Yeah, it's like I you, mean, you didn't even know. We won't right? know now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is yet another Chicago special guitar that I've had the pleasure of playing. There's been quite a few over the years to the point where I've lost count. Yeah, I've kind of lost count of how many I've played myself. Yeah. Um, we do, I know that we've sold close to 800 of them as wow. as of this video. So we're, we're incredibly grateful to everybody who was involved with creating these, everybody who's picked one up, everybody who owns one, everybody who owned one and then had to move on to something else. Yeah. We get it. Um, but yeah, just, just fantastic instruments and we're so pleased with the response to them. Yeah, I mean, wonderful guitars and Look forward to doing the next Chicago special video. Would oh you? yeah, we'll be doing some strats, doing some tellies. Of course. Uh, doing a, a new model that, I don't know what it is yeah. yet, but Doesn't we'll have a name see. Yet. Doesn't have a name yet. <laughs> we'll make our own uh, model, yeah. Yeah, yeah, why yeah. not? But again, great guitars. Um, everyone watching at home, again, just to reiterate, you can customize these to your liking, which is huge. It is, um, yeah. Big fan of that. Uh, these are probably gonna sell pretty quick. I always say that, but it, they do sell quick. They do typically, yeah. yeah. Um, one of these will be gone by the time this video comes oh, out. So. Absolutely, yeah, definitely.